Greetings everyone and welcome back to another Guild Wars dungeon run here on Ragplays. Today we are going after Murakai. If I can click on the signpost, Lady of the Night in the Cathedral of Flames. We will get a reward of 10,000 experience, 1,500 gold, and 2,500 Vanguard reputation points. And as always, the standard copper Zeishin coins that we always get, about 140 of them I think. Uh, today I'm going to be playing on my dervish, and uh, dervishes are uh, holy warriors of a sort. They're something akin to a scythe-wielding uh, monk or a paladin. I can't really... It's, it's, it's a weird class. It's kind of unique to Guild Wars in that way. Uh, basically I do a lot of AoE attacks, similar to an assassin, but... Um, I add holy damage on top of that, so considering we're going after Mirakai, who is a powerful ghost, and uh, I believe she has a lot of undead minions, and also the uh, the enemies in general bunch up in this dungeon nicely, it's uh, it's a good idea to bring a dervish, I think. Another melee class. I'm playing a lot of melee lately, but you just... I kind of went through a list of dungeons, and... Uh, selected each for what would make sense in them, I think, and I think the Dervish is the, the most sensible for the Cathedral of Flames. So, the Cathedral is in the Char homelands, it's up in Doomlore Shrine, it's actually inside Doomlore Shrine, the, the town, so that makes it really easy to get to, that we know having to get from point A to point B, so I'm gonna just teleport there now, and we'll run and get the quest. Just so you guys know where to get it. So once you zone in, it's uh, it's over here with Gron. What's his name here? Gron Fierce Claw. And the quest is called the Temple of the Damned. I'm not impressed. Go ahead and pick that up. And now I will go through the rigors of getting a group together, and I will be back with you guys when we are ready to go. See you soon. All right, folks, here we are. Got a decent looking party together. We're a little melee heavy, but uh, we should be fine. I really don't know my way through here all that well, so we'll have to be a little cautious. Phantoms. I don't like that very much. That hurts. And it looks like we lost somebody already. But uh, we're okay, I think. Shock phantoms. So the dervish's stick is uh, you apply you apply flash enchantments. I have a I have a regular enchantment, a flash enchantment. The idea is I apply the regular enchantment, and it does uh, holy damage whenever I do damage to adjacent foes. Basically, I apply the flash enchantment, and then I use an, an, an ability, another ability, and it strips the flash enchantment from me, and that causes massive amounts of AOE and damage but I have to remember to keep clicking back on my flash enchantment to try and, uh... uh well, to make sure that, uh... I don't accidentally remove my regular enchantment, because the abilities that I use strip the enchantments regardless of what, uh... of what happens. Oh yeah, we have to let them fight to the death. No point on interrupting them fighting some kitties right now. Ow, don't stand in the firestorm. There we go. So yeah, the dervish class uses a scythe, as you can see. This is my, uh, tentacle scythe. You get these in, um, 
Frostmaw's Burrows, I believe. Feels like I'm playing piano. <laughs> That's the Dervish for you. I could use a different build, but I kind of like the Pious Teardowns build. It's fun. It's a little uh, carpal tunnel inducing, but fun nonetheless. Attack these. Okay, I don't want to attack the spirits. I want to open this locked chest, however. We like locked chests. If I could. Normally my, uh... My dervish is very, very... Um... Full-on inventory at all times. Oh boy. I swore I had an increased attack speed thing on this, but maybe I forgot it. Oh, okay, it's at the end. <laughs> I moved it. Usually I uh, I have it further up on my bar. I'm a little dumb today. It's been a while since I played on my dervish. Now this, I don't like the look of at all. I'm going to go straight for this mass of phantoms back over here. guys, I'm not sure about the view again. I'm looking only at my skill bar right now and nothing else. <laughs> because that is the way on dervishes. <laughs> at least it's the way for me. Somebody's using, uh... What's that program called? That opens chests from far away. That chest opened before anyone was next to it. If I could click on this, though. Thank you. Elite Monk Tome. Hot dog. 10,000 gold already? Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's, uh, deal with the shock phantoms. Because they are the most annoying. Need to get my speed up. Gotta remember to do that before anything else happens. I really should have it someplace else a little more convenient, but I don't. Cephasax, huh? I've probably lost my, uh... regular... No, I didn't. Good. Okay, now... Now I'm gonna reapply my, my full enchantment, and, uh... Get at these ones. Just keep whirling. Nothing but whirling. Keeper fellow. Yeah, right, right choice bringing a class that does holy damage to this dungeon. Lots of undead. Lots of, uh. other such things. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> okay, let's go through the door if, uh, if everybody has their loot, which it looks like. Level two, we're flying through it. Let's talk to this beacon of Drachnar. Get a bit more dwarf points on the go. Apply my aura of holy might. I haven't been using my uh, four great justice. There hasn't been a need so far.
actual enchantment. Throw up four great justice just for funsies. And uh, we'll need to attack these. Probably not the best Dervish if anyone actually plays Dervish full-time and is watching this video. You'll kind of guess that I'm kind of a noob at it, even though this character is one of my oldest characters. I just I don't play it very often. Alright, we've got to go this way, it seems. I'm going to reapply my regular enchantment and uh, throw on four great justice just for funsies. Got enchanted hammers and bows. Let's go at them. I think I accidentally stripped my main enchantment. That's okay. These are not too much of a problem. Unless they're Guardian Spear. I'll actually pick that up. You never know what you're going to get off of those. Sometimes you get elemental heads and... Elemental anything on... Spears seems to be pretty rare. Oops. Accidentally applied the flash enchantment first and strip that out of the way. And then get the regular enchantment on the go. And then, uh, can we get into the fray? Okay, there we go. Very good. Don't stand in the poison. God. They're doing the Lord's work. Yeah. Alright. Reapply this. Let's, uh, oh god. I'm dead. Oh wow, they're saving me. Now, all my stuff on here is plus 10 armor while I'm enchanted, so I don't know why I'm taking so much damage. It's kind of weird. Around all these poison traps. I've got to remember to take a screenshot in here someplace, but I think I have the the room in mind what I'm going to do, so... Okay, don't stand in that. That's real bad. I think I'm blind. Doesn't matter because I do holy damage as long as I'm stripping stuff off of me, it's fine. So the AoE is not a f um, not reliant on... what do you call it? It's not reliant on actually doing melee damage, it's just if I'm near something and I strip an enchantment, Holy damage. Get in there with the rush. Let's apply the pious haste. Make me attack faster. And everything's dead. Very good. I guess it's up this way? Maybe? Yes. Oh my. Uh oh. Right in a firestorm, I've kind of got to stand here. Okay, get up at him. Come back here, don't run, you'll only die tired. Very good. Excuse me. Toad in my throat. Right, this room, the room of millions of spiders. Oh good, I like these guys. Oh my god! <laughs> I got absolutely destroyed. That wasn't good. That's embarrassing, too. Alright, let's make up for it, shall we?
Wow. And one of these guys, I think it was even this group, actually had a... What happened? Uh oh. Spiders. Fiery spiders. But this room is full of spiders anyway, and it leads to the next level. Oh. Okay, what are we doing? What's going on? Somebody pulling? Two chests. What? Oh, two chests that way? I see. Oh boy. Start attack speed quickly. AoE is not recharging fast enough, what gives? Should be back up as soon as I'm ready, basically. Okay, very good. Get these open. Assassin to him, that sucks, but I retained at least. Okay. I like having this pious haste on my bar. It's not strictly necessary for this build, but very nice utility just being able to uh, go really fast at random. Pious Fury on the go, which increases my attack speed. Very good. get some golds this particular game, that would be wonderful. I only got one so far. Oh, okay, we, we're gonna get purples. Very good. <laughs> Very sad. Let's, uh... Well, I actually like the Divine Lamp or the Oriate Lamp. They're kinda nice. But I think I have one that's better than that already. We'll have to see. Well, I definitely have one that's better than that. That one's Rec 13, so it's the worst it can be. Now, this room is uh, mighty hellish, to say the least. Get four great justice on the go this time. I need my pious fury. Can I strip this? Thank you. Okay. Golden Rin Relic. That's actually a good drop. You get those only in this dungeon, and if you get, I think, 50 of them, you can turn them in for uh, a special hat or a special piece of armor, which uh, there's no way I'm ever going to do this dungeon 50 times, or, well, not more than 50 times it would take to even Spirit of Destruction, no thank you, Let's go after this instead. Ah, Cephas Axe, huh? Okay. I don't care about those so much. I guess we get rid of them. There. Okay, we've got Bone Horrors. Let's get whirling. Oh boy. I don't like him. I need to get after these spirits. I sound like a, a tummy. I don't like him, I need to go after the spirits. You know what I mean. I hope. Don't want to focus on minions if you can avoid it. Oh, Draconic Spear, that'll be useful. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Damn it, I didn't get it, I don't think. Hey. I think this guy's the Pied Piper leading us into... Yeah, that's that's what I thought, anyway. Let's not stand in that, shall we? Okay, you. Okay, let's reapply this and then start stripping. Wrong button. Okay, we're alright. Yeah, I haven't found the room I'm thinking of yet, but it's right up here, I believe. 
This is why they call it the Cathedral of Flame. This place looks really, really cool. I'm probably gonna screenshot here. Just tell them what I'm doing so I can actually get my screenshot. Oh, Jesus, that's. Never mind. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. I done aggroed. <laughs> Why me? take out all of those and then I'll hopefully get a screenshot real quick. things that I do to make a nice YouTube video. <laughs> on the boss room. Disease heavy dungeon. Constantly transferring it around. Kind of gross. Stay away from the green people. Cracked armor as well. Who buys the chalices? What chalices? Spears dropping. Too bad none of them are uh, golds, though. Anybody have any cool gear on? Eh. She has uh, Roku's slicers. Those are the daggers I have on my assassin. Right here, this girl with the glowy hands. Pretty nice. Destroyer staff on this monk. It's pretty cool. 
That's a big group, okay. If you want to pull, now is the time. Well, come on, pull away, Ranger. Alright, never mind. Okay. The monks weren't ready. <laughs> That was not my fault, unlike that dervish from the other day. At least that's what I want to believe. I thought, like, I was waiting for the ranger to pull and it didn't seem like she was gonna pull, so... I went in. Might not have been the best choice, but it was a choice. Ah, this room. It's a ghosties in here. It's like the, the cemetery module, <laughs> if it can be called that. Yeah, I think we have to kill that dude in the center, I'm not sure. Oh boy, okay, here we go, lots of phantoms and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get on this corner and just hopefully start whirling. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a lot of traps in here as well. Do we... I guess we do have to attack it. That lockpick, nice. Whoever happened to get that. We need someone to run in there and pull Mirakai's steward, because if we... If we don't pull her, the entire place is going to be popping. Okay, now here we go. Get out of that. Oh, here he is. Okay. Shut off the traps by killing him. Grab this boss key. That's a problem. You, you're next. Whirl, whirl. Let's get out of here. I don't think we need to be in this room anymore. We can back out now, I think. Oh, a chest. Yeah. Alright. Oh, boy. Yeah, why not? When in Rome, right? You gotta get the chests. Wanya and Brent and Balthazar on the ceiling. So there is. Look at that. Yeah. That's neato. Okay. You, come here. Alright, where's this chest? There's this chest. They're definitely going to aggro once we get near there. Okay. Holy crap, where's the chest? Where's the chest? Just get me whatever's inside. Forked spear, I'll take it. Get out of here. Ah, oh, this is bad though. Let's just, if I can get over there. Ow. That was a huge spike. Let's get the hell out of here the entrance or exit or whatever. Let's go fast. Whew. Okay. 
Poison. So much poison. I don't think anybody died, luckily. Could have happened, though. Alright, so which way? Everybody okay? Okay. Monk is just kicking up the rear, as they do. You gotta heal people and stop to heal so they're not always exactly with the group when you need them to be. Uh, I guess we're going down here. Okay, don't stand in that. Oh god, I'm body blocked. Alright, gotta get out of there. I know I'm standing in it, but I kinda can't afford to care right now. that money. That's that's the important thing, right? And this dust, why not? Dust is uh, kind of useful for a lot of things, so you'll want to pick it up if you ever see it. Let's reapply our actual enchantment, because that looks like a group of undead once again. Don't stand in that. Spirits of Destruction, they cause a lot of damage sometimes. Hey, another lock chest. Very good. Okay, I gotta be quick. Dead bow. Not so great, but I retained. That's all that matters. I like retaining my lock picks. And uh, we're coming up. Anyone else want to sell some keys? Uh, I don't have any keys to sell all that many. Well, I do have seven of them. I, uh, I'm not carrying many of them, so I'm going to keep them. And here we are in the boss room. Urukai is somewhere over there with her army of undead minions. Like these. This is what I'm made for. So, should be able to carve through her and her baddies pretty quick. I like this room. It's not one of the most interesting boss rooms, but it's, uh, it's tasteful, I guess. There she is over in the distance. I feel like I'm moving kind of slow, though. Over here. Start stripping. There we go. Ow. Okay. Don't stand in the pools of flames. There are quite a lot of them kicking around here, so. Okay. apply my Ow. You need to die though. Where is she? Tons of damage. Myself whirling. Hey, nice and easy. <laughs> Didn't even see what was going on, just so focused on my skill bar. Murakai's chest, here we go. See what we get. Talon daggers, an exquisite Sermia carving, and an onyx gemstone. Not the best drop ever, but... Uh... <laughs> Two gemstones. <laughs> Womp. 
And that is it. Time to zone back to do more shrine and turn in our quest reward. Hey, there's a locked chest over there. out of the way so we can all get our extra bit of loot before we all go. An elegant scythe. Nice. That might be useful for a dervish. Alright. Now we can resign. first to turn in the quest. And then we can actually see what we got as loot in the Great Temple of Balthazar. Ron Fierceclaw. The reward for this, 7,500 experience and 1,500 gold. That'll pay for one of our lock picks that we lost. Uh, and now back to the Great Temple. I probably have inventory space left to, um, to spare, so yes I do. I can actually accept the quest. Uh, not you. You. There we go. We'll turn that into silver Zeichen coins, as always. Save on inventory space, and then we can get to identifying. Okay, so... Throw this in here, and this in here. Get my ID kit, which is kind of an inconvenient placing, but uh, it's neither here nor there. So, we got this monk tome, we got this Oriit, uh, this assassin tome, we've got a golden rin relic, which is actually icing on the cake, that's really nice. Um, lesser guardian spear, don't think twice, it's garbage no head or anything to salvage off of it. We got the Cephas Axe, Strength and Honor, Armor Penetration at 20%, uh, plus 14 while health is above 50. That might actually be worth salvaging off of there for a hero. Apply it to their weapon. It's not a perfect mod, but it's pretty close to being perfect. Uh, we have this Draconic Spear, which is garbage. It's a nice spear. It's probably my favorite spear in the game. It looks like, uh, well, I'll just show you. It looks like a dragon breathing fire. The dragon's kind of... I can't really show it to you in here. There's... The icons are... You get the idea, anyway. Um... Oriet lamp. Oriet. Oh, wow, that word is hard. Uh, Oriet. It's golden. Golden lamp. Forget-me-not inscription. Halves the skill recharge of divine favor spell 70%. If that had been a 19%, that would have been... Amazing. Forget me not inscriptions are pretty valuable. I'm gonna probably take that off just because it's better than a lot of the other inscriptions. We've got this skull shield that we found on the ground through thick and thin uh, versus piercing damage command. Not that great again. Okay, so we've got two golden items here. Uh, we identify all that. We'll save those for later like to go through the junk before we get on to the good stuff. Okay, so we're at the good stuff. Let's start with this bow. Guided by Fade Inscription. Good inscription for a scythe. Good inscription for a dervish. Vampiric bowstring. Uh, some people use it. I don't tend to. Uh, but it is perfect, I guess. And there's also a plus 19 versus undead on that bow. Uh, considering it's a dead bow, that's kind of fitting. That whole thing is fitting, really. I'm going to take the inscription off of that, probably, and put it on one of my dervishes. Uh, we have these daggers we got. We also have this uh, onyx gemstone that we unfortunately received. I see daggers of uh, 
something or other. Icy daggers, cold damage, 7 to 17, and they're... They are max damage and perfect wreck. Not really one of my favorite looking set of daggers. They look like raptor claws and they're... I don't know, they're, they're okay, I guess. I might give them to a hero, maybe. Uh, let's take a look at the... What else? I'm going to save that spear for last. It's probably going to be the highlight. This fire wand, maybe? Sees the day inscription. That's perfect and uh, quickening. Honestly, that's um, decent for a hero, just as is. I might take the Seize the Day inscription off of it. Uh, I'll see about it. The Seize the Day is useful for, like, uh, necromancers and things like that. Because necromancer gets its energy mostly by soul reaping, so it doesn't matter if its regeneration is nerfed a little. As long as things die around it, it, uh, it gets free energy. Um, what else? The spear we're saving for last. Let's try the scythe. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, measure for measure inscription. Highly salvageable, so this will give more iron ingots or wood if we salvage it. Uh, 29 health. Eh, garbage. 29 health is okay, maybe for a hero or something. And uh, lastly, this spear. Prong forked spear. I guess I'll show off that spear. Never seen one of these myself. Kind of like a trident, I guess. It's not one of my favorite skins. What is it? Got a zealous spearhead, which apparently I've never found before on my own. It's very unusual. Vengeance is mine. Inscription sucks. Health plus 30 is... Or health plus 29 is okay. The zealous spearhead is good. Uh, paragons tend to be tend to use adrenaline over zeal, so um, or adrenaline over energy. My my apologies. So not the best. I'm sure there's some paragon builds that use that. That I'll be taking the zealous head off of that probably. And if I can get that plus 29 health, I'll get that as well. Uh, is that everything though? How many lock picks did we go through? We blew through, I think, four of them. We've got enough to replace two just sitting in our inventory right now, plus all the money that we're going to get for this elite, elite monk tome. It's no no worries. More than enough money. Also, this golden rin relic will fetch a little bit of money. Set the regular assassin tome won't be anything. I'll probably just give it away. But anyway, uh, that is everything, isn't it? I guess I can show you guys. Well... Game decided it doesn't want me in it anymore. <laughs> Lose my connection. Very well, I guess we'll end it here, guys. I thank you so much for watching this episode of a dungeon run in Guild Wars on Ragplays. And uh, from Nahalenia and I, have a good one.